Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder, and as always, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a 6 liter LS, and we're running two different intakes and two different camshafts. We're going to compare the factory early truck intake manifold to the better, stronger, faster Trailblazer SS on not one, but two different camshafts. Does it make a difference what cams we run? Let's check it out. Okay guys, let's jump right in and take a look at all the testing that we did on a 6 liter. And this particular 6 liter was an LQ4 and it was supplied to us by one of the viewers. Thanks Mike for supplying the 6 liter. And the way that we got it is I picked it up from Mike over at his shop. And it had been used, he, he loaned it to an automotive shop where they kind of took it apart. So I guess the guys could kind of show the... The students hey this is what happens inside of an engine and that maybe that kind of thing and so when i got it it was down to a short block and so it had to be basically put back together and originally i was just going to put it back together and run it on the dyno and then you know because he said it was running when it when it was pulled and so i was just going to run it on the dyno put it back together and run it and we'll start off with there and, and but as it turned out i decided hey look right you know about halfway through we were starting to do this i'm like you know what let's take this thing apart it's already down to the short block let's put ring gap in it so that later on we can run like lots of boosts and not have to worry about it. so i took it apart and, and actually i'm kind of glad i did i'll show you some photos here you could take a look the thing you know i'm not going to complain about a free motor because that was awesome and again thanks mike for that but i'm glad that i took it apart and this is one of the things that we find when we take apart these you know used stock bottom end kind of junkyard motors it, because this thing kind of qualifies as that it had been obviously you know it had a lot of miles on it because i think that this was an 03 or an 04 motor but when you take it apart, you find all kinds of things. And what we found was that there were a number of cylinders that had rust in them. You know, not terrible, but not enough so that I'm not going to run them. We are definitely going to run them. But we had to, what I did was just hit them with some, uh, you know, some Scotch-Brite and some WD-40 on the cylinders. But we took them out to put ring gap in them. And when I took them apart, we also had issues with a few of the pistons. The second ring on all of the pistons actually was already kind of pre-gapped as as they say for for boost but the first ring was way too tight and it's not something i would want to run on turbo motor so we did had to do um, ring gap on them so i used the ring grinder and we did ring gap on them to set them up for boost but the other thing that happens and this is fairly normal on these stock bottom end motors is the oil rings generally are seized up they just don't rotate at all they don't move around at all they get locked up because they get a lot of carbon build up they get a lot of oil build up in them that that eventually kind of cakes on and stuff and then, and then they stop working they stop rotating so those get those get locked up and then a couple of the other both the top and second rings, some of those also were locked up. And not because they've been pinched or detonated or anything like that. That can also happen. But because they just get buildup in them. And it just, you know, it takes up all of the gap that allows the ring to move around. They just don't move anymore. And they get worn in place. And that tends to, you know, hurt compression and hurts power production. But after taking it all apart, I put ring gap in it, put the stock rings back in it. We reuse everything like we do, reuse the lifters, all of that stuff. We did have a bad camshaft in this thing, or at least one bad lobe. And I checked the lifter, the lifter was fine. So again, we put it all back together after the ring gap, after cleaning everything, freeing up all the rings and did that. We took the 317 heads. I did a, you know, Super Richie razor blade rebuild on that. And then you know, that way we can kind of clean clean them out a little bit, seat the valves back up because they were pitted, which is normal. Again, high mileage stuff. And we started out, we put the stock early truck intake manifold and throttle body back on there. And we ran this thing on the dyno. We put a set of 1,000 uh, cc injectors from Richard Holzer Performance, the FIC stuff that we sell. We put long tube headers on it. We put a holly on it. And we ran it on the engine dyno the way that we do and run in this manner. The 6 liter with the truck manifold produced 439 horsepower and 453 foot-pounds of torque. And here's what happened when we did our first test. What we did was we replaced the factory early truck manifold with the also factory Trailblazer SS intake manifold. 
And this is what happened. The Trailblazer SS did indeed make more power. We've kind of come to expect that, but it's nice to see on these applications and what people will be most interested in is the stuff that's happening down low. Now we know that they always make power and this one did. So we, the power peak power jumped up to 452 horsepower. Peak torque was up to 457. So you can see the gain started increasing as we went out in RPM from about 3,700 on out. And it had good gains from about 5,000 out to 6,500. Below 3,500, we saw a slight drop in torque. And that's not unusual. I see that a lot on when we're comparing a Trailblazer SS to a um to the early truck manifold so this would and this by the way this thing was equipped with uh, our low buck truck camshaft from richard holder performance so kind of a mild camshaft on a six liter work work good made good power especially with the trailblazer ss but now let's check out what happened when we put our slightly bigger camshaft in we put the truck plus okay now that we've gone over the history of the six liter the buildup of it and then we tested it with the low buck truck camshaft and then ran it both with the factory truck intake manifold, the early truck intake manifold and the Trailblazer SS. Let's find out what happened when we put a different camshaft in. So we stepped up in camshaft from the low buck truck camshaft to the truck plus camshaft, which makes definitely makes more power. In fact, if you want to see how much, we can do a quick comparison here before we talk about the intake manifold test. So right now, this is the this is the truck plus camshaft. It made 453 horsepower and 448 foot-pounds of torque on the 6 liter on stock LQ4 6 liter 317 heads <coughs> and here's how it compares to the slightly smaller low buck truck camshaft that we run on all kinds of stuff you can see that the truck plus we, we normally advertise as making about 15 more than the low buck truck so we went from 437 horsepower up to 453 horsepower, so really close to that. And you can see in typical fashion, the low buck truck camshaft makes more power down low, which it did in quite a bit down at down below 3000 RPM. Crossover point was 47 or 4800 RPM. And then the truck plus started making more power than the low buck truck. So again, it's always a matter of choice. Like, do you want more low speed power? Because in terms of peak torque, the, the, the smaller cam made more peak torque and made more power down below 47 or 4,800 RPM. But above that, the bigger cam made more power. And that's always the way that it is. We always have to choose where we want our added power. But right now, we're here to talk about the Trailblazer SS intake manifold. So this is our truck plus camshaft, Richard Holder Performance. And like I said, made 453 horsepower, 448 foot-pounds of torque with the factory early truck intake manifold that comes on most of the wrecking yard motors that we find here's what happened when we installed the trailblazer ss intake manifold with this particular camshaft you can see kind of like the last test we did with the low buck truck cam when we added the trailblazer ss the trailblazer ss is just a better manifold than the truck manifold is it makes more power in this case made more power from about 33 or 3400 the low buck or the the early truck made a little bit more power down lower than that but above that the the trailblazer ss made more power peak power was up to 464 horsepower so again with the with the trailblazer ss intake manifold you're kind of looking at gains of 10 to 12 horsepower it looks like and we've tested these on four eights and five threes and all kinds of things and actually the wilder the combination is like if we had an even bigger camshaft and like so let's say that we stuck the biggest cam that we could in here um I, it's also important to mention that before we did all these cam swaps we the 317 heads were upgraded with a set of btr springs the ones that we sell on our site but the guys from brian tooley racing um we ran this combination with springs in the heads already Bef when i was doing the, the super richie razor blade rebuild we did an upgrade on it and put valve springs in it knowing that we were going to be trying different camshafts on this thing so we did upgrade the springs but the wild of the combination if we were to stick an even bigger camshaft like let's say a btr you know a red hot cam or you know something even bigger than that maybe maybe that gigantic uh ls3 stage 4 camshaft something like that 
the gains that you get from the Trailblazer SS compared to the truck manifold would increase even more because that's what's going to happen. The more power the rest of the combination wants to make, the more restrictive the factory truck intake manifold and then therefore the greater gains that you get from adding a Trailblazer SS. And for the guys that are thinking, well, how does it compare to a fast? A fast is obviously better than both of these. Our much are older. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. And if you're looking for a factory, Cathedral Port Intake Manifold, get a Trailblazer SS, which we have at richardholderperformance.com.